Welcome Capricorn to your March reading, your love reading for the end of March. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So we are going to be looking into what's coming towards you, the challenges um, of how this person feels and thinks about you, what you don't see coming in the potential future. Uh, we will clarify the cards and pull out the love oracles, which will kind of get a better idea on how what this person wants to say to you, okay? Let's go ahead and get started with your reading. Let's see, what do we have for Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to hear right now? Seven of Wands. Ooh, the Seven of Wands is all about protecting your heart, okay? Uh, so there is a need to protect your heart uh, from either a very strong connection here. There is some... Um, Somebody does want to give you their time, though, as we have the Six of Rings. It's about equal give and take. Hmm. Okay. There could be a very big attraction here with that Ace of Wands. Could be causing a bit of confusion for you guys. Very attractive energy. Ooh, but we have the Seven of Swords coming in with the... Um, spirit of ring so this person may be giving you the vibe of like non-committal okay or maybe not seeing a potential future with this energy um things are feeling stuck when it comes to long term or stability or uh here and it has to do with some sneaky intentions or something here that has to do with you know something that's hidden i feel uh, there is a message that wants to come through for you, but I feel like uh, even though this message may come through, there could be a feeling of emptiness here. But let's see, because somebody definitely wants to reach out to you. Um, you could be a bit guarded, needing to protect yourself, feeling a bit, you know, not really letting this person fully into your heart. But there could be a lot of chemistry and a, a lot of smart, a smart spark <laughs> within this connection. So yeah, a lot of things that are hidden. Um, we do have the Ace of Cups coming in and the Page of Pentacles in the challenge. Now, uh, there, there's wanting to move forward here, but again, this person could be feeling stuck. Wow, they really, they really want to come together. Oh, Three of Pentacles, Seven of Swords again with the Fool and Justice. You guys could be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces here. Um, but we have Major Arcanas, which it just feels very stuck. There's a need for change with the Wheel of Fortune, but something's blocking this change. Something's not moving forward, okay? And I feel as if it's because it's not a solid opportunity as someone here could be um, lacking that could be more of that no strings attached type of energy, but there is a lot of passion that could be keeping you guys together, but there is still a feeling or a need to hold back your emotions from this person because so many things are hidden. There's so much unknown. There's still, uh, your intuition is playing a big part in this. And I feel like you're, you're really uh, protected here by the universe. Now, the Three of Swords is here, which is feeling some type of breakup or betrayal or pain um, at this time and uh, making a choice here. So I feel like this person may be thinking that you're surrendering them and they really wanna come in and heal this connection. This Ace of Cups is here, so it could be either a newfound of emotions, a renewal within love. Um, also, this can be a new love coming in somebody completely new um this challenge though is stating that again i keep saying it because there's already two <laughs> messages here saying uncommittal uh so i feel like this person is really attracted to you they are wanting to move forward they are wanting community they do want to communicate but that's it's like there's a wall that's blocking something here and to move past like to go to the next milestone um so i feel like that's why you're, it's a need to like protect yourself from this energy but there again something's keeping you together lots of passion passion and chemistry uh the three of, of cups is more stating that there is a uh, 
Three of Cups energy is, is saying that there could be three people or community or a love triangle here. But we have this person um, possibly coming in after disconnecting with you for a while. Okay. Uh, so there could be a withdrawal here with this energy, but they will message you. That's what they want to come in. Um, and they're determined to have you in their life. They like speaking to you and having you there. But I feel is that there is emotions with this person, but there's uh, some uh, another energy that's hidden. Okay, let's see this moon card because the moon is always about the hidden. Capricorn, Cancer, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, losing faith. Just uh, when you're about to lose faith, this person comes in. Um, I feel like you are seeing this for what it is right now, but there could be something uh, tying you guys together. I feel like this is an energy where this is as far as it goes and you can see this is what the block is because of all of the, the, the page of pentacles. And then here we have the uh, uh, ace of pentacles. And those are all about commitment in, in seeing something solid with this person. There could have been um, a fight or an argument or avoiding some conflict here. Maybe a feeling of this person not communicating or separating from you at this time. Um, and this could be causing some inner conflict. I feel like you are losing hope though because this person may not be um, serious. They could be taking a very long time. It feels like something is just stopped. It's just stagnant. Now we do have the Four of Cups in reverse twice. So there are times where they're very frustrated on how things are playing out. Yes, this person looks like they want to give you, but it's kind of like breadcrumbs. And uh, I feel like when, like when we have the Ace of Wands upright, it's more of an energy of like sexual tension. And that's where I feel like that's where everything gets more, like they, they give a lot there, right? But with the Four of Cups, when it comes to your emotion, I feel like you are choosing you. This is more of having some type of an awareness of this situation, how this is playing out. And uh, I feel like you are choosing yourself, okay? You're choosing your, your happiness. You're putting yourself first here, Capricorn. Um, and I feel like this person, the more you're going to move away, the more they're going to want to come back. He probably... This person may not even be aware what's coming next. What's the star? Mentally moving forward. See, that message keeps wanting to come up. But it's a page. You see? It's a very small gesture. And I feel like it's just to keep you there, you know? And uh, I feel like you are very loving and caring energy, yes. But this energy, something else is happening within the scenes um, to where things can't really, like things are feeling stuck. The Queen of Swords and what you don't see coming is an energy that may be coming in um, as you possibly either very truthful from uh, with this energy you could be coming in very strong and truthful and not wanting to deal with their bs you could be cutting them off uh because of the five of pentacles feeling left out in the cold feeling like this person you know is not trying anymore um and i feel like they still <laughs> like if you speak your truth they're still going to come and message you uh but it's not satisfying anymore you see we have the ten of swords this is very painful for a lot of you guys making this decision i feel like either which way you go it's gonna hurt and i'm just gonna be honest i'm not here to sugarcoat anything and i just feel like this person is like at a dead end and the the and i feel the more that they disconnect um, not show interest is, you know, it gets very hurtful. And then the more that they do show interest, it's like you have to back away, you know? So it's just like a, a feeling of like, either way, any decision I make, I'm going to get hurt from this. 
um, because it's, it's not bringing joy to you anymore. I feel like you're not really seeing a future with this person at all. And it's a big decision. So I feel like it's just like you're here at the mill on what path to take. Um, but in the end, I feel like if you go down the route with them, it could be stuck for a while. But if you go to the route to free yourself, yes, it's going to hurt, but you will. It's a feeling of like, I know I will overcome this. And I'm going to choose happiness because you know that path brings happiness after the heartbreak. This prolongs the heartbreak, right? If you stay stuck with this person in this stagnant energy. Uh, I don't, I, I, I feel like this is just not uh, an energy you see yourself with anymore. They're not enough for you. I feel like you are wanting more. Um, let's get this three of swords. Yeah, we have ten of swords. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming into the reading. Still, still me. Indecision. So hard. We have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming in with the King of Swords. This energy, I feel, wants you to stay. They do. This this is a... But they're, they're coming in a bit um, manipulative. We do have the Seven of Swords. So things are being, you know, hidden and... Um, I feel this person brings a lot of confusion in. Let's see what this person has to say because I feel like I'm going around in circles here. I gave in to temptation. Twin flame. I abandoned people to make myself feel important. Well, that's uh, crazy i will find my way back to you one day i can see myself with you for a long term i'm not ready now there's so much i want to tell you now when you see this <laughs> this is that in, uh, manipulative energy this is how they could make you feel that it could be long term that one day you'll be long term but I'm not ready. So this is an energy I feel that can really emotionally. Um, ugh, I don't. I the queen, the king of swords in reverse. Now I've been getting a lot of these in the singles reading, and uh, the the first set of readings for March. And um, this energy has been coming up, and it, it. And I think it came up in your reading already. But this is an energy that can really keep you stuck. Because it, it can be, you know, wanting the cake and eating it too type of energy. But I feel like your emotions, you're removing that because you're seeing that this person may be not who they really are. Because the will is here in reverse. Nothing's, oh, we have the tower coming out. There's a major shift coming are a major shift here with this energy a tower moment um and i feel like that's why you're trying to avoid there could be an argument here or some type of truth being revealed to you guys and i feel it's very hard it's a very hard situation very hard decision. Yeah, there's a lot of passion. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at the present moment. Enjoy it. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. I'm going to get some advice, okay, because I feel like we need advice. <laughs> I, uh, this, this energy is just there's a big block, a big wall. Let's see. What what do we have for Capricorn? What advice do we have for Capricorn? Unlikely. Okay. So 
let me read this to you. Um, this is actual, you know, advice from your angels, direct advice, as you can see. But there's always some a message in here for someone. So let's see what this says. The situation you have asked about is unlikely to occur as you are imagining it. There may be a different version of events that will take place. Or it may be that what you're asking about is simply not in your highest or greatest good. That's why the, the will is here. It's protecting you. Place your focus on an alternate, alternative possibility. Open your eyes to different opportunities. Be willing to experience a unique and more uplifting outcome than what you had planned for yourself. So this is an energy for you, okay? So I feel like if this isn't working out, it's because the universe is saying it's not for your highest good. It's not to hurt you. But I feel like that's what you're feeling as to why you're at the Seven of Wands energy, protecting your heart because you are feeling some type of suspicion, uh, deceit um, here, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here for you, Capricorn. I really hope you enjoyed this reading or it brought clarity or helped you. And if it did, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys very soon. God bless.